Welcome to Click Connect. I'm your host, Craig Sullivan. Today, it is a privilege to welcome Mr. Steve Jan. You know him as the president and CEO of Prism Hotel. Steve is a mentor. He is one of the best people in our industry, and I am proud to call him friend. How are you? Well, I'm doing great. I'm uh, sorry for all the damage in our industry and the damage in our world, but uh, personally, uh, we're doing great at Prism and uh, have an uh, exciting year ahead of us. There you go. So let's talk a little bit about last year, my friend. Um, what were you doing in particular to help out your ownership groups around the country and your teams? Well, the, the, mo the best thing we did, we got a head start on it. I mean, beginning in February, we were like, uh-oh. And starting in March... We immediately staffed up uh, our corporate office. We, unlike other companies, we didn't lay off a single person last year so we could continue to help our owners drive revenue. We've actually hired six great professionals. Uh, so we started off early with a radical approach to cutting expenses and even more radical approach to hiring more people in sales and marketing. Uh, as a result, our market penetration, RevPAR, went up 25% in our hotels because the competition was cutting people. So we really focused on serving our owners. Uh, you know, we weren't making money, but yeah. certainly inured ourselves uh, deeply to our, our ownership group. So we just, we stayed ahead of it. We, we instituted an entirely different sales marketing program where we call sales office of the future, where we actually had salespeople getting out of the office, going to the front desk, checking in guests and seeing where they came from. Good. So we get more business. So good. I like that idea. And uh, tough year. Yeah. Yeah. Tough. You know, I think everybody's having to do double duty right now, if not even more. Um, you know, you've been on the forefront with the CMBS lenders for all of my 25 plus year career in, in hospitality. So what are you hearing from them now? I know they're getting staffed up. You know, they're they're looking at things very seriously now. They've got the personnel. Yeah, it's, you know, if you'd asked me in last spring how many uh, foreclosures of special services would be, I would have said hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, but that's not the case. Uh, they have staffed up. They're trying to delay the foreclosures as long as they can, uh, but it's still inevitable that there'll be uh, that there's a disaster looming. I mean, there, are, I think, one thousand six hundred loans in special servicing, you know, billions of dollars, and uh, although there was a, a dip in November, fifteen percent of them went out of special servicing because they gave extensions. There's still a huge stack up and loans that are in special servicing and those that are, are are in default, but not yet in special servicing. So I think the new PPP will give some more oxygen to the, the dying hotels, but yeah. it's inevitable that and another thing that's going to happen is a lot of these, not just CMBS lenders, but the regular balance sheet lenders, the banks in particular, they've got 12 month, 12 month debts coverage ratios right. coming up in March with a vengeance. So those trigger just a whole a horror show of things that can and probably will happen to borrowers. Now, one thing I'll say is that I've been through, I don't know, five or six or seven of these things. If you can hang on to your hotel, you'll be fine. But the right. key is just lasting through this. And that's what we're helping our owners with is cutting expenses beyond what we ever thought we could. The brands have been cooperative. Yeah. Let's cut back on services and the lenders being cooperative. So I think it won't be as much of a bloodbath as it looked like earlier, but it's still going to be brutal. I agree with you. And that's, that's really great to hear. And, you know, if anybody's looking at where I'm at, uh, I'm using Steve's uh, Hyatt Regency at LAX as my background. Uh, you know, and, you I know, Steve, it's funny. I, I had uh Sarah Dandishi on uh, the show last season from Ask a Concierge. And she did a review of your hotel. It's on uh, YouTube at askaconcierge.com or .tv. 
as well. And, you know, she, I, I told her I watched it and she didn't know I was springing that up. And she did a great review. And while we were talking, she's going, you know, Craig, I think I'm going to call a Hyatt and see if I get pickup. Yeah, that's a good example of what we did there. We, our market penetration before the pandemic was 115%, wow. about 140% in, in food and beverage. It's gone up to 140 or 50%. And also food right. and beverage has gone over 200% because we kept working on food and beverage. But we got a great team there, but we kept the corporate staff and added to it to give them a lot of help. There you go. One thing that I, I do want to address, because everybody's wondering, where are we going to be able to buy hotels? What's, yeah. what's the market like? And a good comparison is in what we've got in front of us. In 2001, RevPAR went down 6.7% the year afterwards. In 2009, it went down 16.7%. Everyone is projecting this year, report is going to go down 34, 35%, which is twice what it was before. And the recovery of value, the past two recessions, it's taken eight to nine years, years. to get back to as many transactions, as much value as there was. So, you know, eight or nine years from the last year is, that sounds funny to say, but 2029, 20, 2030. 20, so this is unprecedented. Everybody loves the sports analogy. We're in the first inning of this. Wow. Uh, you know, it's the first inning. No, and really, no one still knows when group travel is coming back. Right. When right. corporate travel is coming back. Hopefully, the vaccines will work. But it's going to be a lot longer than, than has ever been the case in our industry. So we've all got to work extra hard and extra smart. It's same care for our employees. God, the, the devastation among employees is is just horrendous. I mean, uh, you know, I was in New York three weeks ago at the Marriott Marquis. Yeah. Six, there were six guests at a 1,500 room hotel. I was going to say, it's 1,500 rooms and only yeah. six guests. Oh, my God. Yeah, so they have, there are tens of thousands of unemployed hotel workers in yeah. New York. Not, so anyway, we just need to remember them and do all we can for them. So. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, and that's why, you know, with Click, we've got that, that charitable component as well. And then I've helped out with a few donations personally with various organizations, which we all need to do. Yes. Uh, my friend, we are almost out of time. So before I let you give a shameless plug and how everybody can get a hold of you, I want to say a couple of things. One, Steve Van is the epitome of an industry leader. Okay. This man is always there for you, for his team, for his owners. He is also a wealth of information. That's why I was so excited to get him on this show. Steve has been on the podcast at least twice, and he's always bringing something to the table to share. So, my friend, thank you very much. And how can people get a hold of you? Oh, you can just call me on uh, my cell. It's Steve Van at 214 214- Eight five zero zero three nine one, or email me Steve Van at prismhotels.com. Be glad to talk to you, and we need to help each other during this time, all of us. Yes, we do, my friend. And I want to thank you, our audience, for joining us today. And please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Be kind, share your knowledge. Now, go be amazing.